Father, I thank you for this morning and those of us who have had the heart to gather to sing your praises and to hear your word. And Lord, I'm so excited about today for you've given to me a message that I've never preached before. And Lord, I believe it's going to be a challenging message deliver. It's going to be a challenging message to receive. But I pray for your anointing on the music today, anointing on the message today, but a message on the minds today, the hearts today, and the feet today, so that what we hear will be very glad to take with us to challenge other believers and lost people that they need Jesus. So, Lord, we surrender this time to you. We don't want any distractions. We just want to know your presence, your peace, your mercy, your power. And, Lord, as we stayed Wednesday night, there was great power, immediate power. The church is only about six months old. The Lord, the church now is over 2,000 years old. We're missing that power. And it's that power that I pray that you begin to bring in this church and every church so the miracles of God can be seen in the time frame of the immediate. God, you are a good God. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so your power that's available then is a power that's available to now. And so, Father, if there's anything in any of us that would keep your power from coming into this holy arena today, we pray at this moment, through the Holy Spirit, you would speak to each one of us, and you would call us to repentance. You would call us to seek forgiveness. And you say if we ask, you'll cleanse us from all iniquity. So we want to be those clean vessels that are full of your righteousness so that your presence can be seen in the most amazing way that can be seen today. So cleanse us and make us ready for these moments of music and message. And again, speak to the heart, speak to the mind, and lead the feet. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen and amen. 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 Would you all please stand for our doxology? <laughs>
because we've been planted here, so this is the community around us is what God wants us to reach out to. Because there's lots of lost people around us, and He wants to reach those people, and He's counting on us. So as you think about this, as you pray about this, even during this service, pray and ask God for guidance. If you have any ideas or suggestions, then, then please bring them to us. Also, we, uh, ladies, uh, about a Bible study to start at Mill Creek on Tuesday. Uh, we'll begin on October the 3rd at 10.30 in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, this is being headed up by Vicki Bailey, right? And so this is starting this coming Tuesday. And um, if you're interested in getting this started, which uh, I think you should. Yeah, but I didn't want to. Right. Me and Carl were talking on the way into church this morning, and I said, it's amazing to me, Carl, that people don't read the Bible knowing that it's the thoughts of God on paper, knowing that they're having to give an account of their lives to what is written in that book. Think about that. Amen. So when you get to heaven and you say, well, Father, I didn't know that. He's going to say, did you read the book? I put it in the book. And I'm saying it glibly, but, you know, I'm not looking forward to that meeting. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to have to give an account for what I've done with my life since I've met the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> so, very important. Bible study, I think, is very important. You all know I live, breathe, and bleed Bible. <laughs> but anyway, I thank God for it. Prayer meeting on Wednesday night. I had a good prayer meeting last Wednesday because the Holy Spirit was there. Any meeting with the Holy Spirit is involved in is a good meeting, right? Amen. 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 So try to attend that at 6.30. And if you can't not attend, just pray for us as we're praying. Remember this Friday, there's open mic. Uh, that's uh, basically musicians getting together, bringing some of their musical talents and just kind of a fellowship time. And that's uh, uh, this coming Friday at 6.30. They don't have to be a musician to attend. So they can be the audience. <laughs> they, no, they can participate. We have karaoke. And good times always have an audience. So they don't have to be a musician. This not, doesn't come from their days on Broadway, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, try to attend because it's mainly a time of fellowship, whether you can play music or sing or not. And that's what he's referring to. Uh, also remember that this is the last day when you can donate to Tennessee Golden Offering. I'm not sure why this is the last day, but we have a, a goal of $500. Uh, to support mission work through the Southern Baptist Convention in the state of Tennessee. So pray about that, whatever you feel like, uh, whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to give. Remember, all true believers are givers. God is a giver. All true believers are givers. Uh, anyone not trying to solicit funds, but you know, don't want you to miss out on a blessing. Uh, but anyway, uh, remember Young and Heart Breakfast next Saturday at the Cracker Barrel on Seaco Drive, right up the street here. And that's at 8.30 a.m. Uh, blood drive on the 18th of October, which is what, about, well, 18 days away. Uh, between 10 and 3, <coughs> the sign-up sheet in the bulletin board for your use. Also, Operation Christmas Child, we have 50 boxes. Uh, they have to be turned in by November 12th. Four have been turned in, so we're 46 short. And it takes, what, $10 to fill a box? $10. So if somebody wanted to contribute um, $50, that would be five boxes. Yes, that would make the post for five boxes. Okay. So either way you want to do it, either fill the box uh, personally or give funds to get them filled. All right, any other announcements to make this morning? I think Lori's not here, but I think if she's taking the youth to the tabernacle in Lebanon today, right? Michael, can you tell me anything about this? Okay, it's about the tabernacle that was erected in the wilderness by Moses. It's a replica in Lebanon. I know she's got the tickets. I know she's taking the young people. Um, and just in case you didn't know, today is the Feast of Tabernacles. And what's important about that is we call Jesus what? Emmanuel, right? which means God with us. Amen. And the word tabernacle means that God has come to tabernacle or dwell with his people. Now something we don't do too much as, as Protestants, but we should learn to. God said that you're to celebrate these feasts forever. Not until Jesus comes, but forever. And this is the last feast of the other seven of them. And if you think about it for just a minute, 
you know, Jesus was crucified on, come on, Baptist, Passover. When was he raised from the dead? The day of first fruits. When did the Holy Spirit come? The day of Pentecost. So what's, what, what is the next festival we're looking forward to? Today's the Feast of Tabernacles. I think the Feast of Trumpets was 30 days ago. But anyway, the Feast of Trumpets, that's when the trumpet sounds and Jesus returns. Now the dates, they don't really know. Anyway, something you might want to look into. It's kind of important to understand your Jewish roots because you are Jewish. You've been adopted into a Jewish family by Jesus Christ. Okay. But anyway, um, any other announcements that need to be made this morning? Get involved. Remember, we don't have much time left here on the earth. We're going to leave these tabernacles, these things that God has put us in to help us develop our faith. And so find a place to get plugged in that you can become closer to the Lord. That's what we all want, right? Amen. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. So Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you, Lord, for providing us to assemble together as your children, Lord. And we pray, Father God, as your children, we pray for one another. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll touch each one of us in the deepest part of our being, Father. Oh, Father, such a lonely world without you. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll come and fellowship with us today, individually and corporately, Lord. Touch us, Father, we pray. We do want to pray, Father, for one of our own. We want to pray for Gail. We want to pray for Richard. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll touch Richard in a powerful way with the healing hand of the Lord Jesus Christ only come through him and his power. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you give Gail peace, Lord. We pray for the accompaniment of your angels, Lord, in that room. We want to pray for the staff there at that hospital. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to impart them wisdom and skill above and beyond their human capabilities. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you're going to do in advance. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the miracles that you have attested to this week in our lives. We pray, Heavenly Father, for divine appointments. And we pray, Heavenly Father, as we have already asked earlier, that you will guide us in our church council and guide us, Heavenly Father, into the place that you want us to be, Lord God. We want to accompany you in your work, Heavenly Father. We don't want you following us. We want to follow you. So give us enlightenment, Heavenly Father, to what that looks like. We pray, Heavenly Father, for this service today. And again, we pray for one another that tongues of fire would descend on each one of us, Lord, as we're filled with your Holy Spirit. Either filled, Heavenly Father, by the power of your word that you give to Brother Keith, or that we've touched, Heavenly Father, by the language of heaven that you've given these musicians the ability to do. So we ask you, Heavenly Father, to touch us in a very powerful and mighty way. And Father God, I know that the Lord Jesus said very short prayers, but he left us one prayer. And he requested that we pray it corporately. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to empower. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would open the hearts of each individual that recites it. They would understand that they have come into contact with the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All right, stand up and greet one another. Tell them you're glad to see.